full-time devils Adam McCola here the lads have asked me to do a video on the Glazer family and their ownership of the club today marks 10 years since they bought Manchester United and leverage seven to eight hundred million pounds worth of debt onto the club some of which we still have today around 300 million or so still is on the club that debt is still on the club and we still have to pay that off since the Glazers took over they've leached almost a, well over a billion pounds out of the club whilst investing zero into the club yet today when I was on Twitter and Facebook I still had people saying to me the Glazers have been good they're not bad and um, we've been successful when they've been here so on and so forth we were successful when they were here because of Sir Alex Ferguson's genius not because of them we were successful in spite of them and now since Sir Alex Ferguson's left the lack of investment that they made in their 10 years has been clear um, the lack of investment has been so so clear Louis van Aal had to spend 150 million odd quid David Moyes spent 70 million quid and now we'll have to go we'll have to strengthen again heavily this summer um, and that's that's the lack of investment that we saw over a 10 year period of the Glazers coming in yes we made some big signings and I've I always hear from opposition fans, Chelsea, Liverpool fans, so on and so forth. You're still spending money. But we were, we were balancing books and all sorts to buy, to buy players. I remember one summer we bought Carrick, Park G for about three million, Edwin van der Sar for a couple of million. Um, you know, we sold Ronaldo for 80 million pounds. Where did that money go? Where did that, where did that money go? We won the Champions League and all sorts around that time. Sold Ronaldo for 80 million pounds. And we replaced him with Valencia. Come on now. Um, they're, they're a joke. Um, obviously as a business, it works for them. The way they bought the club, it's, it's a great business move. But they don't care about the people. They don't care about the football. They don't care about the fans. All they care about is money and making more of it. And that's exactly what they've done off the back of Manchester United. Leached money out of us left, right and centre. Um... Unfortunately, Sir Alex Ferguson did. Like, it's one of the things I disliked about him is that he um, he always kind of backed them up and stuff. Obviously, it's difficult for him because he was there, but he that was their boss. He was their like, sorry, they were his bosses. But he covered up for them, and it's it, it was one of the things I disliked about him. Um, obviously, myself, I go still go to Manchester United games. I've still got a season ticket. And for that, I am a bit of a hypocrite because if I'm against them so bad, why do I still give them money? Well, I would go to Manchester United games regardless of who the owner is, uh, who the players are, what sponsors on the shirt, who, who's sitting in the stands next to me. Um, I would go to Old Trafford no matter what division we're in, what competition we're playing, who the opposition is. So whoever the owners are for me doesn't change whether I'm going to go to Old Trafford or not. Um, yeah, I don't buy anything else, merchandise, what have you, but... Um, that decision is a very difficult one for me now there were some that split completely from Old Trafford created FC United and now 10 years on they're two promotions away from league football and that's something they can be very proud about and something that they should they should be very proud about because it's a fantastic achievement for them but I couldn't do that I couldn't turn my back on the club and as far as the obviously the protests went and so on and so forth there was very little we could do to stop it and now they're here, we've got to deal with it, unfortunately. And we're still in debt. I think it's around £350 million worth of debt at the moment. So what as football fans can we do? We can obviously fight for legislation to be changed and for more fans to be involved in ownership of football teams like we see in Germany and so on and so forth. Um, and I still think that fight should continue. But for Manchester United, it's unfortunate that we've allowed this to happen and allowed a billion pounds to be sucked out of the team. And despite... Malcolm Glazer's death that will continue to happen by his family um, so I just for one can't wait till we are rid of them leeches and they are out of the club because I can't stand them and I live by that phrase love United hate Glazer is exactly how I am anyway guys let me know what you think get your comments in below do you think the Glazer do you really explain to me if you're one of those do you really think the Glazers were good for the club because I can't get my head around that one at all Anyway, comment below, subscribe to Full Time Devils, like the video as well, dislike the Glazers obviously, but like the video, I'm Adam McCola, I'm out of here.